My father taught me one thing that my dad taught me. I learned from my dad. One thing that my dad has taught me. One thing that my dad has taught me is what my dad has taught me. One thing that I learned from my father. One thing I learned from my dad. I've learned a lot from my dad. Some things my dad taught me how to do. I've learned a lot of things from my father. My dad taught me what I have learned and continue to learn from my father. My father taught me the thing I most learn from my dad. The value of hard work. He was an immigrant who came to Canada to support his family in China. He came alone. He was young and did not speak any English, but he was resilient, resourceful, and determined. I can remember he would work two, even three jobs when necessary to make ends meet and not complain. My father taught me that love is an action and love is sacrificial. Thank you, Dad. I miss you. It was like how to put myself together properly, you know, how to dress myself, how to be respectful to people. Um, another thing my dad taught me how to do, what to do is um, how to respect women, how they should be treated and just, you know, everything, how to clean, just how to, you know, get my life together and everything for the future. And I'm really thankful for that. One thing I love about my dad that he's taught me is discipline and just making sure I get things done in advance. Um, yeah, just really getting things done and just having that schedule and planning for the day and everything. That's one thing uh, that my dad has taught me. Is that no matter how difficult growing up can be or life itself can seem like it is, um, that God will always be there for us no matter what. He'll always be there to help us get through anything that we're dealing with. If we pray and if we talk to God, we'll always be able to get through any challenge in our life. And also, I also know that my dad will also be there for me, but he's obviously there with the help of God as well. So yeah, that's what my dad taught me. It is the value of sacrifice. He came to Canada from England knowing practically nobody to marry my mom. Um, and to start his family and he continues to make that sacrifice each and every day as his family doesn't live here and I know that he misses them um, but he did what he had to do for the betterment of himself and for us um, and that's something that I'll always be grateful to him for. Being the other only man in the house but I think the one thing that I'll take away from him is realizing how hard it is in life to be a good father and a and a, and, a, and a good dad to a good family. But watching him and talking to him throughout my life, I've seen that it takes a lot of patience and perseverance. And with that, he's shown me what it takes finally. And I realize what it takes to be a good father in life. God is our father in heaven. And sometimes it's crazy for me to think just how much God truly loves me, especially when there are moments where I don't even like myself. He is the perfect teacher and role model when showing me how I'm supposed to love. It is not to procrastinate or to over plan before starting something new. Uh, I tend to take a long time trying to organize or make things really perfect when you can't make things perfect uh, before I take on a new project or a new goal. And sometimes that leads to me not even starting that to, to pursue that goal. And he's always there to remind me just to get started right away and to figure everything out on the way after I've started to get that momentum going. To respect myself and that I'll always be loved. He's been a major part in my life and just helping me to become the woman that I am today. And about me, also the main thing I've learned from Daddy Chris is like how to be devoted to his family and how to be devoted to God's family too. My father was the most patient man I've ever known. And he taught me that by listening to everyone's point of view in any discussion, it will lead to finding out what is right rather than who is right. And he always saw the best in every situation. Is how giving he is and how easy it is for him to sacrifice um, in order to help people. I don't always put it into practice, but he does it all the time, almost every day, through and through, so. Patience, humor, and the phrase, holy moly, what a goalie. All right, so I'm very grateful for my dad because uh, I was a really, I did got into really bad stuff, like in my junior high years. Yeah, stealing and 
breaking into construction things and bad stuff. And, uh, well, my dad, he, that book I'm reading, the seven habits book that is talking about how, you know, don't focus on working on others, work on yourself first. And my dad implied that he worked on himself and his influence impacted me. And, uh, well, now I'm like, you know, journaling, uh, calendar stuff and I'm working on, you know, like, uh, I'm working, <laughs> I'm working on how to, how to improve myself. So yeah, that's, that's my dad for you. Over the years, I've learned a lot from my dad's example of kindness, integrity, and patience. He's also taught me a lot of other useful things. First, that lost things can always be found. Second, that everything can be figured out, even calculus. And lastly, that before you start cooking, you first need a clean kitchen and a great kitchen party playlist. My dad is someone who's worked very hard to achieve his goals. He has persevered time and time again to be where he is today. He taught me that if I want to achieve my goals as well, I need to persevere, be dedicated, and most importantly, never give up. He has also taught me how to maintain structure throughout a day. Starting, you need to make your bed first thing in the morning. This will start your day off right and motivate you throughout the rest of the day since you started off with something productive. It's to ask many questions until I understand. And my dad is notorious for that. Growing up, I didn't appreciate it at all. But as an adult, I've been in situations that my dad was the only one that was asking those questions. And it made me feel so heard, so loved. And I just want to celebrate that today. And thank you, dad, for that gift. It is such a loaded question because there's so many little things that my dad has taught me over the span of my life that has shaped me into who I am today. But I think the biggest lesson is self-love and never settling for anything less than what I deserve. And you know, those conversations over the years have turned me into such a strong person and I've never been happier in my life than I am today right now. And a big part of that is because of my dad. It is that he sacrificed for his family. Um, my family immigrated here to Canada in 1978. And um, my mom moved uh, here with a number of her family members. But my dad actually left everyone, his mother and his brothers and sisters, um, really just so we could have a better life, uh, really escape apartheid, which was not a great place to grow up in. And so I'm so thankful for that and thankful that you brought me to an amazing country um, where I was led to my Heavenly Father. And so I'm doubly grateful for that. To work diligently and to put my heart into literally everything that I do. It's because of this, even when I would fail sometimes, he would still be proud of me because he knew that I tried my best. <laughs> But one of the favorite things I've learned is that if I work hard and I don't quit, I can accomplish anything. Life is life's too short to just be taking every little thing too seriously, and and it's important to um, it's important to laugh. It's important to have a good time, um, and especially um, when you're around family, um, to really enjoy the time uh, that you spend with them and. Um, and whenever I get a chance to be around my family and hang out with my dad in particular, um, it's always a great time because, uh, because of his nature and, and who he is. Happy Father's Day to everyone. You know, I wanted to help people understand what I learned from my father for 54 years. I learned the value of sacrifice. Thank you, Dad, for sacrificing so that all seven of your children could have a better life. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Love you. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Love you. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. I love you. And I love you. Happy Father's Day. And Happy Father's Day to Abba Father. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Happy Father's Day, son. Thanks. Happy Father's Day to everyone.